Chris, how are you? Hi. So we're here in uh, beautiful California. So <laughs> you're from, you live in Detroit, right? I live in Detroit, yeah. So it's a little bit different weather, especially. Uh, it's a little bit different. I've noticed a couple differences. Yes. White against green? Uh, white against green. There's a little bit of that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Gray so, against uh, sun, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so we're here in California just driving the new, uh, completely new 2017 for Escape, one of the most successful SUVs in the market. And you are the guy responsible for it. You're like the product manager globally for these cars. So yep. you're a busy guy. I am. Yep. Got uh, work with the full team that obviously delivered it. But yeah, we uh, we're we're real proud of the the new 17 mile year Escape. So for people who don't know, a product manager is like, in my opinion, I know you can tell me differently, mm -hmm. but I think it's the most important person in the whole process because you're like in the middle of engineering, designing, and like sells because I mean you like really come up with the whole plan to what to put into the car and like satisfy customers right yeah so that's a big part of it I mean they obviously the, the whole system is important and everybody's role is you know um, important and we wouldn't be able to deliver without it but my yeah. role specifically is uh, to deliver the overall uh, product execution the quality the cost and really the timing of the product yep yeah, so the kind of the day-to-day -day operational delivery stuff is what is what I really get involved with. And also, with. I mean, to me, cars are like such a fantastic final product because when you think about it, I mean, you can tell us a little bit more about it. I mean, there are so many elements that come into a car, like for me to turn on the radio, push this button and it works. There's a lot of work behind that. Yeah, it's something, I mean, even at, I got about 18 years uh, with the company, even after it's still something that um, that I'm bewildered by, by as well just the auto industry itself and the expansion into the supply base and what it means to the economy and then all the way down to the vehicle and how complicated yeah. the vehicles are really from a system standpoint right to get all of these technologies you know and all these different parts and all these tolerance engineering tolerances um, you know to work together is uh, I mean it's um, the supplier it's, that's, chain and like the supply from chain, home. right? And you know the the whole global aspect of, of it as well. So I mean that's what makes it fun. It's really it's it's very dynamic, and I think that's um you know that's what yeah. But know, being a global fun. a global uh, vehicle, I mean you probably are busy twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah, I am busy. Uh, <laughs> you know, time is different everywhere, is what I've learned. So yes, uh, you know, we always have something. The one thing I could say is, um, with the global escape, there's always something going on. 24 hours a day on the escape so yes <laughs> so can you tell us what it's new for this one in 2017 yeah absolutely so uh, from a exterior standpoint an all-new um, exterior look really an effort to uh, to give it a unmistakably Ford look um, a, a more rugged look I think uh, a more um, you know a look that's really consistent with our with our SUV lineup a real effort to design the vehicle from the inside out and, and to make a, a very good vehicle even better. And what I mean by that from an interior standpoint, we spent a lot of time trying to understand from the customer how they how we can make the, uh, the vehicle even easier to use, even more uh, friendly from an accommodation standpoint. And what that resulted in, uh, just some of the highlights, is um, an all new center console, kind of the hub of, of the vehicle. This whole area in the middle of the vehicle is all new. Um, the great enabler for us to redesign the area and really try to optimize it from a usefulness standpoint for the customer for all the different small item storage uh, things that they that they carry and have a need for um, the great enabler for that was the uh, electronic park brake so this yeah, button here exactly. replaces the uh, the mechanical park brake that, that really opens up a lot of space yeah that really ate up a lot of valuable real estate for the customer so all of the 17 model year escapes get the new electronic park brake and what that allowed us to do is provide these different options for for your cell phones, for your and it's phones now in the most uh, most part plural for your iPods, um, for large sunglasses, for um, different items, you know, small items, yeah. changes, yeah, pens, all sort of things, yeah. right? Um, and a very large uh, cargo bin as well. Um, over six liters of volume the size of a, of a big purse so we really wanted to give the customer uh, options of where to put these devices as they bring more devices and more things into the vehicle um, and and really try to optimize that space certainly cup holders is an area we spent a lot of time trying to get right as well um, you know they, they're 
such a important uh, element to the customer how the, okay. our Americans so use cup So when you talk holders. about a lot of time designing a cup holder, to me it's like a hole to put something. Yeah. What? How much time are you talking about? I know, you think it's just, what's a cup holder? It's just a hole. Now, I would yeah. say, you know, there's probably some in our competitive set that uh, probably didn't take as much time and that maybe look more like a hole. But, you know, our development cycle kind of is, you know, on the course of years, right, as we try to get wow. these products. for a cup holder. For, certainly, right, as we try to optimize it. I mean, with cup holders specifically, yeah. A couple of specifically, what we want to do is make sure we always have the stability there, right? So that w when we take advantage of the escapes, uh, you know, fantastic ride and handling efforts, that the, the, the bottle doesn't move around. So what you want to do is make sure it's stable, but you also got the ingress, egress, the ability to get it in and the, the ease of uh, getting it out uh, is very important. And what's important specifically in North America is the ability to accommodate different size uh, containers, yeah. right? Everything from a Red Bull can um, to, you know, the, the type of big Which is more or less this size, a little bit? like I think thin. it's even smaller, actually. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at it. Yeah, but it holds pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, in, in addition to here, what a lot of customers like to do, especially on uh, the longer commutes, they come in in the morning with their coffee mug and their water bottle. They put their water bottle in the the cup holder that we put in the door trim panel, right? Coffee mug here in the morning, maybe sometimes two coffee mugs if they're yeah. commuting with somebody else. And then you get that kind of rotation. I finish my coffee, that goes into the door. Here comes my water bottle. So just that, that you know, the options and just the way we use our the vehicle is something we try to spend a lot of time so understanding. So the, 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 the word utility in a vehicle like this is not only for cargo, it's for these kind of things too. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah utility and just the the accommodation and use of the vehicle absolutely I mean one of the things too is even the glove box is something that we uh, redesigned and tried to optimize from a utility standpoint from an accommodation standpoint we what we wanted to do is make it even more accessible the storage um, in that area you know for the items that the customer is going to bring into the vehicle and what that resulted in is what we call a swing box design yeah. incorporating the bin into the door which allows the driver easier access to 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 get those items from the driver position trying to avoid you know having to go deep into uh into a glove box well underneath the instrument yeah, that you panel, probably don't even right, see that you're trying to reach that you can't find it's exactly big enough, but it's like very accessible right yep so uh that's the interior yep i mean uh, this is like a, a small suv but like this segment is like exploding i yep. mean everybody's getting into this and like the cells are going through the roof i understand you sell about three hundred and six thousand last year mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's that, that, that's up like yep. just a bit down uh, uh, under one thousand a day. Yeah, more uh, or less. Yep. Wow, that's it's incredible. Very, uh, you know, it's a, uh, a segment that's very healthy right now. Absolutely correct. That's interior and exterior a little bit. Yes. What about the powertrain? Yeah, let's talk powertrain. Some of the features we brought into the vehicle as well. We we're going to continue to offer three powertrains um, as part of our series lineup. Um, we're going to bring continue with our 2.5 liter TI VCT engine, um, so that will continue in 17 model year. But what we're really excited about is we'll be introducing two all new powertrains into the engine uh, or into the into the Escape. So we'll be introducing a 1.5 liter, which Eco is the one we're driving now. It's the one we're driving now. Yep, uh, 1.5 liter EcoBoost. So it has yeah. all of our latest turbocharged and intercooled technologies. That will be the standard engine um, on our SC and Titanium series. And then we will offer as an option on both those series our all new twin scroll turbo technology. Two liter engine, uh, EcoBoost engine as well. That results in 245 uh, horsepower wow. and, and uh, 179 foot pounds of torque. So really a, a, a class leader from that standpoint. And it obviously delivers like a sporty uh, performance experience, right? Absolutely. Really, both of them provide that sport. You stay consistent with that fun to drive element of the Escape. But not only the sportiness, what we've included on both those EcoBoost uh, engines is a feature called uh, automated start-stop. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a feature and that... that's standard on all the EcoBoost uh, engines, right? Correct. Standard on all of our EcoBoost engines, which means over 90% of the Escapes that are uh, that we'll be selling uh, the, the all-new Escape for 17 model year will have that technology. Um, what that technology does is it eliminates the use of fuel um, during an idle event. So um, when the vehicle comes to the idle, if the customer chooses, um, the let's vehicle... See, let's try it here. Absolutely. 
So what you just experienced is there's zero emissions being emitted and there's zero fuel being used during that event. And what we're trying to do there uh, is avoid uh, or you know really go after some of the, the benefits of, of eliminating that wastefulness. Yeah. It's the equivalent of you know turning the lights off when you leave the room. Exactly. Right. And and even though it's very little for a short time, like when when the engine is on and up, when you add up through the let's say week a month or the life of the car that adds up to a lot there's some really scary you know you know statistics out there Americans use up to f almost four million gallons of fuel. Wow. waste up to four million gallons of fuel a day doing nothing um, idling going you, nowhere going nowhere you and I are just the average customer spend about 16 minutes a day just idling Wow. so you know by by preventing the use of uh, or eliminating the, the the wastefulness of a fuel and eliminating the emission uh, you know the emission elements during those events you're right you have a big impact we're excited about it but we're really excited about the execution as well I mean I think you had you know just with that experience right there really the um, we think what we're providing is a real seamless interaction um, for the customer yeah because I think the earlier applications of these systems in other uh, cars it was like almost like kind of scary I remember one one friend of mine telling me I think I broke the car because it's <laughs> stopping every time that well, the engine is dying every time I stop and like but now yeah it's it's completely seamless and like for some people still is something kind of new but I guess after a couple times you will get used to it right yeah I think the execution um, in the competitive set will be a differentiator for us and we really think based on um, you know the data that we've taken that we will be a, a class leader with respect to the execution with respect to seat vibration with respect to seat steering trim, with respect to how the customer um, you know perceives or in this case doesn't perceive the yeah. feature now if they decide that they don't like it they, they would prefer to idle um, we did it's a simple uh, push of a button that's very accessible here okay. on the, on the uh, center stack but when you button. understand the benefits I mean it will be silly not to use it really right yep but I you certainly leave mine on yep. yeah uh, you mentioned another thing about quietness and all that the general I mean like we're driving here we're almost 60 miles an hour we're going up the hill and it seems like we're in a library here um, we offer or we introduced a suite of technologies um, in the vehicle um, to really give it that, that quiet feel. It's very important to the customer with respect to quality. Customers perceive quietness with quality. The 16 mile year escape, the outgoing escape, is the segment award JD Power uh, quality winner, right? And, um, we're just continuing to build on that position and make the vehicle. Um, you know as quiet as we can it will be the class leader for what we call wind noise road noise and uh, it will be second to none for powertrain NVH so yes you the it's almost uh you know the the quiet is every time I get in the vehicle it excites me just how quiet it is because yeah. you do not feel this level of you know this absence of sound um, typically in this segment it's at a much higher uh, price point kind of in the luxury yeah, and that sensation segment. of like being so quiet and smooth like gives in the mind of the buyer like buying into a higher absolutely. level yep. of vehicle, absolutely. right? Yep, yep, absolutely. So finally, uh, also, there's a lot of new technology in terms of uh, communication, mm -hmm. uh, applications, uh, what, yeah. what's that? Yeah, uh, so for, this is going to be, the, the Escape I think has been almost 20 years we've had with the yeah. Escape, but the 17 model year will be, uh, be the most technologically advanced uh, Escape that we've ever offered, certainly from a feature uh, standpoint. So. Um, in addition to you know the, the great powertrains, to in addition to introducing start stop to the quietness to the overall fun to drive element, the ride and handling that's you know off the charts fantastic. We're offering um, a suite of driver assist technologies that are all new for 17 model year. Um, so you will be able to get things like um, lane keep assist, uh, park um, auto uh, park. So not only will the vehicle parallel park by itself, but perpendicular park be able to pull out of a park type yeah. uh, spot without uh, side swiping. We have side crash sensing uh, system as well that prevent you know side swiping let's say if you're going through uh, maybe uh, fast food. Um, automated control. cruise control, uh, lane keep assist so the vehicle is smart enough to tell you if you're wandering outside of the lane and if you choose to put that feature on it will also provide an assist to keep you in the lane so not only give you an alert but it will provide some uh, torque um, feedback into the steering to keep you in the lane. So well, excellent. We're going to continue enjoying driving here in the canyons here in near Malibu. So thank you very much yeah, for all you. the information. Yeah, and, let's uh, have some fun. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.